Thanks so much for watching the video with Leanne Atherton and Steven Zirkel. And I wanna just uh, talk to you a little bit about the story on how this video got made. And the main thing that inspired me to do this version of Stevie Wonders, Isn't She Lovely? is I started following this guy out of New Orleans that you may know, who does have a great day. And I looked at his videos, he was getting so much engagement, comments, sometimes thousands of shares. And you know, we as musicians, we have this technology to release videos and edit them and make them beautiful. And I looked at his videos and I was like, what secret sauce does he have? And I think I figured it out. What it is, is that he does everything in one take. He gets all the musicians in a vertical position like this, really performing to the video, to the listener, to the person watching the video, the viewer. And there's a plane going over. You know, and there's that quote, Maya Angelou says, you'll forget what people said and did, but you'll never forget how someone made you feel. Well, there's something about these videos that are so authentic and real that it really connects with the, the viewer as, as it has for me. Uh, people are looking right into the camera as if they're looking right into your eyes. They look like they're having a really good time. There's an element of humor. Um, there's a way that it's choreographed. And I think that has a lot of lot to do with why his videos are really successful and taking off. Obviously, he's collaborating with amazing musicians that are passing through or his friends there in New Orleans. And so that's very inspiring to me. And that think, I think that has a lot to do with why the, the videos are so successful. What do you think? Yeah, so one of the things that I love what Joshua does in these videos is something that I have been really excited about doing with my Western Swing Group is with, with the whole ensemble playing to one microphone or two microphones. It's an old school way that was done, you know, back when the Beatles were performing and they first came to the United States, they didn't have monitors. So the musicians are really controlling the mix. It's not left up to a mix engineer or some technology. Um, that's the way classical music is. You know, the musicians are control and they're listening to each other. So in these Joshua Starkman videos, you can see that there's just one microphone and there's something about the genuine authenticity of that that I really love. And that's how we did this video as well. We did it with one microphone and placed ourselves and we kind of had this choreographed dance to make it all fit into the video. So that was a lot, a lot of fun for me in making that.